Our rivers, streams and lakes are not as clean as we would like them to be. Man-made pollution affects the animals and plants that live in these waters. And those who use the water for recreation. Historically, industrial sources of pollution damaged our waterways. But these problems have been mostly fixed with better water treatments. So why is there still a problem? Pollution also comes from diffuse sources across the landscape, such as forestry and urban areas, but mainly modern farming. This pollution comprises of soil particles from ploughing, unused organic and artificial fertilizer, bacterial pathogens from animal waste and pesticides, including herbicides, insecticides and fungicides. Pollution comes from the movement of small amounts of material from fields to water bodies. The rain and wind transports these pollutants into rivers, lakes and groundwater, where these multiple small sources are concentrated, to create a much larger problem. Unused nutrients from fertilizers can build up in water bodies and cause eutrophication. This problem occurs when the unused nutrients that end up in the water promote algae growth. When these algae die and decompose, they use up all of the oxygen. No oxygen in the water means no oxygen for the animals, who die. Similarly, farm management practices such as ploughing or leaving soil bare over winter can cause diffuse sediment pollution. More sediment in the water makes it harder for sunlight to penetrate the water, which can cause vegetation to die and predator-prey relationships to change. Over time, this sediment builds up and raises the riverbed, which causes flooding. To stop this problem, we have to change how the landscape is managed. SIMAP provides a toolset to help with cost-effective catchment management.